The OSAID and UNICEF-funded project called the Pacific Benchmarking Education Results shows that PNG needs to improve its literacy and numeracy levels. Same criteria used in the Pacific Islands Literacy and Numeracy Assessment evaluating PNG, Solomon Islands and Samoa Literacy and Numeracy Results has placed PNG below the two countries. We use the same tool to assess uh, literacy levels and numeracy levels in the three countries. Uh, we found out that Papua New Guinea uh, is not doing well. Acting Deputy Secretary, Education Standards Directorate, Dr. Elia Kim Apilis, accepted the report and says strategies are being developed to improve standards. Speaking during the opening of a playground at the Koyari Park Adventist Primary School today, Apelis says the Education Department is now looking at setting standards with the new standard-based curriculum. What we are doing is we are looking at the assessment results to develop interventions to introduce the school so we, we, uh, we make sure that the standards is raised. The new curriculum will involve strategies that will create a fun learning environment for students. This public school was the first to establish a playground to engage students during recess and lunch. Dr. Elia Kim says the department will push for all public schools around the country to have playgrounds. This initiative is one strategy the department plans to incorporate in the new curriculum to engage students and to improve literacy and numeracy outside of the classroom. Quinten Alom, National MTV News.